We're in the country that built pyramids. We know what it is to remove slavery from our civilization. We know what it is to be able to find a vaccine within two years when a pandemic hits us. We know what it is to put a man on the moon and now we put in Rover on Mars. We know what it is. But the simple political will that is necessary, not just to come here and make promises, but to deliver on them and to make a definable difference in the lives of the people who we have a responsibility to serve seem still not to be capable of being produced. This world looks still too much like it did when it was part of an imperialistic empire. We believe that it is critical that we address the issue of loss and damage. But for loss and damage to work, we believe that it can't only be an issue of asking state parties to do the right thing, although they must. But we believe that the non-state actors and the stakeholders, the oil and gas companies, and those who facilitate them, need to be brought into a special convocation between now and COP28. How do companies make $200 billion in profits in the last three months and not expect to contribute at least 10 cents in every dollar of profit to a loss and damage fund. We have the capacity to choose differently. I ask the people of the world and not just the leaders, therefore, to hold us accountable and to ask us to act in your name to save this earth and to save the people of this earth. The choice is ours. What will you do? What will you choose to save?